what is up you guys welcome back to a brand new vlog so today i'm actually doing a virtual pajama party with victoria's secret currently have my pajamas on and melissa and jen are coming over as well they had invited us to this about a week ago and we got like a really cute little invitation thing i actually had made a video on my tiktok which i'll link below so you guys can check it out it was one of these smash cakes and you smash it to open your invite super cool they also sent us over um, a charcuterie board and some games yeah i'm gonna take you guys along show you what a virtual pj party has in store make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already and well, let's get into the pajama party. Welcome. <laughs> I'm filming. Hello. And then also, I'm like, do I, am I supposed oh, to? Oh yeah. That? Oh guys, they gave us Insta cameras. They're actually really cute. That's so cute. Yeah, I haven't opened mine yet, but they gave us like a lot of good stuff. I need to show you the charcuterie they sent over. It's actually like pretty crazy. The lazy gourmet. The lazy gourmet. Yeah. All right, so we've just set up our little spread area. So as you can see, we have our charcuterie boards, and we actually have cookies as well for cookie making. Because we're logging onto a Skype, I've kind of set up a laptop here. You guys, we have another member of the pajama party. So we finished the pajama party. It actually ended up being just us, and we actually had a tarot card reading, which was really cool. It was very on point. So yeah, we loved that. And did you guys, did you guys have a good time? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We had a few glasses of wine, we so did. No, it was nice. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a good, good time. Yeah, we loved it. So we're gonna take a little pull right now. Ten out of ten. We'll go like. Okay, ready? <laughs> Wait, um, don't put in mouth. <laughs> Why would they say that? Shove it in your mouth. Like good morning. I'm actually going this morning to something called Eddie's Hang Up Display. So I'm in the store right now. It's actually unreal the amount of stuff they have. I really only need like the packing supplies, so I'm kind of over there, but over there they have all the stuff. Like if you go to physical store and you need anything to like get it up and running. Yeah, this is an awesome, awesome place. I'm so glad I found this. I actually found this through a girl on TikTok. So, you know, power of TikTok, I love it. So I got my goods and then I'm currently just waiting outside for my last item. I do need some bubble mailers and they didn't have like the exact size. So I am gonna order them just off Amazon because Amazon is cheaper. Um, but sometimes it's kind of nice to like go into a store and see like what exactly you need. But yeah, I'm actually gonna go now and drop off a necklace at my friend Melissa's house. You guys follow me on Instagram, you would see that I actually did launch the jewelry portion of Live More finally, which is very exciting. So yeah, that's now up. And we're currently having a really big sale on our website right now. Just dropped off. My face gets sweaty under this mask. Also too, she has a candle company that has really cute candles that smell super good. And she just released her Christmas candles. This is her candle company, Melanco. And it's a new gingerbread flavor. Oh my gosh, you guys. That actually is like Christmas in a jar. Peter and I this weekend are gonna go and get a Christmas tree and all that. So, you know I'm gonna be lighting this. I also too wanted to show you guys quickly um, my necklaces I'm wearing. We have a lot of really good deals right now on Live More. I have dresses up to 50% off. The whole site has a bit of a sale on even these. I have them for 10% off just until Monday. So make sure you get those. And these are literally perfect for stacking. I'm absolutely obsessed. This one is a compass one and then we have a coin and then it actually says live more on the front of this. Little details, people don't always notice, but it says live more, you're a queen too. Um, but it's like to the second, you know, anyways, a little play on words. And then the back, yeah, just says live more so you can wear them the other way too if you just want it to be plain. But I just love them for like dressing up, stuff like this. Any hosies, okay, we gotta go now because I have to drop my car off. I'm getting it serviced feel very adult when I had my old car I don't think I got it like serviced like I got it serviced like once every like two and a half years never did oil changes or anything I'd get like a text from my dad like randomly being like when's the last time you had an oil change and I'm like mm, never you know we're more responsible now which is good love that for us okay yeah we need to go we need to go Alrighty, so I am back home I posted some Black Friday stuff did a bit of promo um, I got to get to work. I was actually just doing some stories because um, my cousin-in-law actually sent me over um, this really nice package. I'm gonna turn the camera around. But I just opened a package I just got from my cousin-in-law. She was so nice um, to send over all this Mary Kay stuff. She has a business with them and 
was so extremely kind to send over all this stuff. I was honestly not expecting this much um, when she said she wanted to send something over. So huge thank you, Kim, if you're watching this. I really appreciate it. Quite excited, honestly, to try out this microdermabrasion kit thing. And then I'm also really stoked. I have actually been thinking about getting one of these. It is a face mask applicator, so you don't have to use your hands, which might not seem like a big deal, but when you have nails like mine, it is kind of annoying because like the face mask will get under there and I feel like it's just more sanitary. Um, two, feels more luxurious as well using a little face applicator. There also is a renewal gel mask in there. We have some makeup, we have a finishing spray, and um, we have a makeup remover. And then there's actually a BB cream, which I was wanting to get one of these. So we have a BB cream and some powder as well. My little sister actually orders this stuff all the time. She uses it quite a bit. So I'm excited to try it out. And then some lip color, which I was actually needing some of this. So it's honestly perfect timing. I went to the drugstore yesterday to find lip color and I couldn't really find the neutral shades I was looking for. So this is like, it's perfect. It's meant to be. And we have one more exciting thing that I ordered off Best Buy. I'm covering my address, but we're gonna open this right now. So you guys are getting an exclusive insider information i'm not making this public but i'm telling you guys because you've been nice enough to subscribe to my second channel and watch it i'm going to give you a clue of what is coming next for the laura reed channel i'm going to put them both out and then you have to guess what laura is doing on her channel all right folks we got some audio technica what kind of these a t h m 30 professional monitor headphones two of them what do you think i would need those for we are starting a podcast which i know everyone and their dog seems to have a podcast now youtubers mainly but yes we are starting a podcast very very excited about it i'm not announcing it on my channel i'm gonna actually film five of the episodes and then like have a really cool like thing on my channel that's like dun 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 it's like the most like juicy clips from each interview and it'll be edited and it'll be like laura podcast coming i've also too i have not finalized a name yet i'm thinking something because it's going to be a travel podcast and talk to people a lot of like travel vloggers and people who have traveled and done interesting things i was thinking something like the travel times i also had kind of a realization yesterday i was like this actually could be good the not so timely traveler or something or the not so on time traveler or something like that because i'm notorious for, in my friend group family for being late for everything i'm trying it is a work in progress we're going to change in 2021 but uh yeah at the moment it's a little known fact about laura reed so i actually thought like the not so timely traveler or, like you know a time traveler but not so timely traveler i don't know i'm still flushing it out i would love your ideas the travel times also kind of leaning towards, I kind of like saying travel in the title. I don't know you guys, but yeah, I already have two interviews, actually three interviews lined up. So I'm interviewing um, Robin, you guys know Robin, um, travel with her a lot, Haley Dasvich, uh, my friend Cody Buffington. We're gonna interview, uh, I'm gonna see if like my friend Will Dasvich wants to be on the, the podcast. My friend Exploring with Josh, she has a really big, really cool travel YouTube show where he goes and explores abandoned haunted things and then someone that you guys would be very interested to watch in a podcast i haven't asked him yet so i don't want to say it yet um don't know if he's gonna say yes but i think it would be a really good episode and uh, you could just guess who it is you probably if you take two seconds to be like who would she feel kind of weird about interviewing but it'd be really good that's him also too peter is going to be co-hosting with me hence the fact i have two pairs of headphones i've Planned on starting this podcast back in like September. It's now November. But, you know, I think I've just been nervous to start it because to be honest, like my channel is just, I don't know what it is. Like it's not getting any views. Let's just be frank. Uh, obviously my channel is kind of built off of Asia content, a lot of Southeast Asia, a lot of tropical content. So now that I'm posting BC vlogs, people are like, yeah, they're just not as interested and like the videos will get to 3000 views and just stop. Whereas like my Philippines vlogs will be like 100,000 views, 200,000 views. So it can be very defeating after a while when you're like working hard and like trying to put these videos out and they get barely any views, especially too, because like the trips we go on, like a lot of times they are sponsored, but like they can be expensive. They take a lot of time to film, a lot of effort. I have a team of editors now that like help me sometimes. So I have to pay them. 
and I say a team. It's like I hired this video editing service company. It's actually through Video Husky, uh, and I really like them. I've gone through a few editors. I've had struggled with editors, but now with like running the business and trying to keep up with my own social and like all that kind of stuff. It's just me trying to also edit full time. It's not working. So I had to hire someone kind of part time to help take that over. So I've really been liking them so far. I do have an affiliate link for Video Husky. So if you guys have ever thought about hiring editors, you pay a monthly fee, which I like. Obviously this isn't sponsored, but yeah, if you ever thought about it, use my affiliate link. It gives me a little kickback. I would appreciate that. So yeah, I don't know what I'm even rambling on about right now. I don't know. Anyways. Oh yeah. So Peter is gonna co-host the podcast with me which is amazing because i think it's more interesting too when you have two hosts so then we'll be interviewing a third person so it'll be like three of us if there's anyone you guys want to see on the podcast i'm literally going to just ask all the different travel vloggers like i want to ask like Karen nate and like lexi the girl who traveled to all the countries in the entire world uh yeah i have a whole bunch of list of people i'm going to reach out to hopefully they say yes it's also going to be a video podcast so i'm going to do the video obviously on youtube and then podcasts would be everywhere else where podcasts live spotify apple music i guess it's called apple podcast so anyways that is the tea i'm going to get back to work yeah i need to finish designing the 2021 collection for live more all right you guys this is a very exciting next chapter in live more we have our first samples of tops the tops are actually just done in not the fabric they're going to be used it's almost just like a crepe black and white crepe just to get to the overall fit. And then we'll do one more sample, hopefully the final one. If you can get it done to two samples, you've like won the lottery. Normally it takes like three, four or five. All right, to the first sample we go. I'm really excited about these tops because they can be worn year around and not just in the summer. I mean, obviously they're kind of summer tops. That's why they were designed. But that being said, you can wear them with jeans or like little going out tops is kind of how I design them. But we're gonna try these bad boys on and see how that goes. I have no words, I really don't. I feel like low-key emotional because I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Look at the back. All these tops are fully reversible. This is like the most perfect going out top I have ever put on my body in my entire life. And because it ties in the back, you can form fit it to your body. I'm actually not wearing a bra with this right now. Also, Peter is kindly making dinner in the back, hence the noise. I don't even I don't even know what to do with myself. I feel like I never really have going out tops. I've always complained about that. I'm like, oh like I can never find any cute going out tops. And obviously it like looks quite obvious that it's reversible here. The final one is gonna be black with a black pattern. So even if it flips over, you won't be able to tell. This is just the first top. Okay, I'm gonna try on the rest. Big day today. Okay, so it is dark now, as you can see. I just picked up my car from being serviced. You're supposed to go like every year to get your car serviced. I am not going to be doing that, and I'm gonna tell you why. You guys, it cost me, ugh, I don't even, I'm like, almost like laughing to myself because of how ridiculous this is. Almost a thousand dollars to get my car serviced. So when they say, get a luxury car, it will be fun. Uh, they don't tell you that it's gonna be expensive. I mean, to be honest, most people do actually say, oh, like the parts and if anything goes wrong, it's very expensive. But yeah, I got my Range Rover back, I'd say like a year and a half ago or so. It's a Range Rover Evoque, so it's kind of like the entry model, not like the $100,000 ones. Yeah, I'm also too like, thank God, because if anything went wrong with that one, it's like, how much would that be? $1,000 to get your car serviced? And literally they like check the engine, they like clean the filter, I'm like, Okay, you know what? That was not worth a thousand dollars, but that's okay. I'm just trying to, that's how I'm trying to rationalize in myself, just saying, it's okay, Laura, it's okay. I'm for sure gonna go to like an unauthorized dealership next time, which might be sketchy, but actually, no, there is people who have like certified whatever that is like when you go through the actual dealership, it's expensive. Anyways, this is my rant. I should have rant for a sec because I'm a little like, <laughs> but anyways, you know life recently has just been very expensive because clothing line stuff like adds up like i got another dhl bill for 500 dollars, and then two days ago i got one for 1500 dollars, and i'm like i thought we were done but the 500 is just the import fee because i ended up importing fabric which i shouldn't have done i've yeah whatever oh yeah and on top of it not that this really matters but my nail broke <laughs> oh it's been a rough day all right i poured myself a bath like 
an hour and a half ago, but I wanted to finish up this video that I was editing for my friend who's do launching a Kickstarter. So I just wanted to get that to him before winding down for the night, but it is currently like 2, 10 in the morning. So yeah, I've really tried to get out of the habit of going to bed super late. I used to like back in the day, go to bed like three in the morning like every night, which is not great for you. So I try, why? Well, to be honest, I mean, if you're getting eight hours of sleep, it doesn't really matter, but I just found it would like throw me off. So I just didn't really like to do that because I'm gonna go in the bath and just relax probably for like 10 minutes. I get really hot and then I want to get out. So if you can relate to that, <laughs> let me know. I am going to put on a face mask. I'm debating though which one I want. There's actually two that she sent me. So we have the Mary Kay one, the Time Wise Moisture Renewing Gel Mask. And then there's also the Deep Cleansing Charcoal Mask. I feel like my skin could probably use like a little charcoal mask action. Oh, so you can actually apply this one before bed and leave it on overnight two to three times a week. So I think what I'm gonna do is do the charcoal one while I'm in the bath, put this on uh, while I am sleeping and I'm gonna wake up refreshed, perfect. All right, we cleansed our face, we're all ready to go. I also took off my sweater, obviously, because I was like, I'm gonna get the mask all over it. Normally I would just do this in the nude, but you know, this is not OnlyFans. So this brush is kind of like a silicone. You guys, I'm so excited. I've seen all these like beauty, like skincare people apply masks like this and honestly this is why i wanted it because i was like oh, it's like painting your face how fun is that who'd have thought that a silicone brush would bring someone so much joy okay i'm literally never ever using my hands again to apply a mask this feels so luxurious and i'll of course leave the product links for this stuff down below and also the link to my cousin-in-law's website where she sells all these goodies so makes for great gifts i feel like people don't always buy masks for themselves because it's a bit more of like a luxury so it's a good thing to get for someone as a gift i've definitely gifted people face masks before all right, so we're just gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. I'm gonna hop in the tub because I'm really cold right now. I'm trying not to shiver. This is an awkward way to end the vlog, but this is how we are ending the vlog. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to shop the Live More a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs as well. I'm having fun filming them. So I'll see you in the next Laura Read the second vlog. That didn't make any sense. Okay, bye. Cause the problem is I love you.